In this video, we're going to discuss symmetry in skinning and what type of effects that you can expect when you start to adjust the symmetry selections, say top and bottom symmetry, right, left symmetry, or all symmetric. So I've got an example component here, and we've set different types of symmetry at each of these three cross sections. And as a start, let's look at what we can do with no symmetry active whatsoever. So we know that we can adjust these angles independently. So let's say here we're adjusting the right side. Let's turn the left side into something else like that. Let's set the bottom side to do something. So, and in fact, let's take the bottom side here and make it do something like that. So we've set different conditions at each one of the points on this cross section. You can give them different strengths, different slew angles. You can give it different directional angles as it passes through. So no symmetry whatsoever is enforced on this particular section. All right, let's go to cross section two where I've turned everything on. So every single line through here is going to be symmetric. And I wanna point out here that symmetry does not mean that the body is symmetric. It means that the parameters for all top, right, bottom, left are set equal to one another. So in this case, if we turn our angle up to say around 40 degrees, notice that the right, bottom, and left are all at 40 degrees. If we turn up our strength, it does it for all of them. So that is what all symmetric does. It just gives control to the top side only. And notice that it doesn't have to be symmetric across, it just has to be symmetric in the W direction around at the four stations. So we can give this more or less, and we can also change the angle. It's just controlling these other three points based on the top side. So that is what all symmetric does for us. If we come here to cross section three, we have control of the top side and the right side, but the bottom and left are made to be symmetric relative to these two stations. And that just means, just like with the all symmetric case, that the bottom side is controlled by the top and the left side is controlled by right. So let's see again what happens. Let's change our top angle to have say some positive and let's give it a little bit less strength on one side and more on another. And then for the right side, let's give it some negative angle and maybe a bit less strength here and some more strength there. So again, just because we've defined right and left sides to be symmetric in this case, we've rotated this cross section using the cross section tab. We've given it some rotation about Z. So it doesn't mean that the body itself is in any way symmetric. It simply means that control over those angles and strengths are defined by these boxes.